Well, for more than a decade, virtually everyone on the left has repeated the same number. America has 11 million illegal aliens within its borders. Countless guests on this show have repeated that number. Of the 250 million undocumented people in the world today, the United States has 11 million. The 11 million undocumented people already, already pay taxes. taxes. So those are a lot of the 11 million people we're talking about. We have so many people that are living in this country. We have about 11, 12 million people that are living in this country. Right, and deport 11 million people. Is that what we want to do? Is that the solution? I think, well, well no. That. 11 the, million undocumented okay, okay. people oh, only will be living million. here for them. This is America. We're not going to go round up 11 million people. The undocumented population has remained stable at about 11 million for the last uh, half a decade. Negatively impacting not just 11 million people. We have uh, 11 million people here who are undocumented. Whenever we say comprehensive immigration reform, that means legalizing 11 million people in this country. As an undocumented immigrant in this country, one of 11 million who are viewed as criminals. We will fairness. now have 11 million people paying more taxes, paying in the Social Security, paying in the Medicare. We have 11 million people. Let's figure out a way to get let's, them in the country. Let's make them Democratic voters. Okay, so here's a useful rule of thumb going forward. Whenever everyone on television, particularly on the left, is repeating the same factoid, it is almost by definition totally untrue. And this is no exception. How do they know it's 11 million? Of course, they, they have no idea it's 11 million. Nobody has counted the actual number of illegal immigrants in this country, and Democrats want to make it illegal to try. 11 million. We'll be hearing that when your grandkids are old. Victor Davis Hansen is a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution. He joins us tonight. Professor, thanks very much for coming on. First, just a larger question. Democrats are, are claiming that this is racist, everything is racist, but the, the rhetoric on this citizenship question is particularly acidic and biting. Nancy Pelosi, make America white again. What happens to the social fabric of our country when trusted leaders like Nancy Pelosi make grotesque and untrue race-based claims like that? How badly does it hurt this well, country? Yeah, we're destroying the classical definition of the melting pot in which your superficial appearance was supposed to be incidental, not essential to who you are. And when she says exactly. make America white, I live in a community with 90 percent Hispanics, and I can guarantee you that I don't know if you were to tell me some are Italian or some are Southern European, I wouldn't know the difference. So white is just a construct. Many people crossing the border are whiter than I am. And so this artificial binary is, is masking the problem, and that is the Democratic Party wants to change the demography of the United States because they feel that their message doesn't resonate with the existing population. And so one of the strange things, Tucker, it's not just that the, the analytics show there's more than 11 million people. We know that from a recent MIT and Yale study where it suggested the high number might be as high as 22 million and up, and that could be up to 7 or 8 to 9 percent of the population. But the Democrats know that because in 2006 to 8, if you and I collated what Barack Obama said, what John Kerry said, what Hillary Clinton said, uh, we would see that they were pretty much on record that they wanted legal-only immigration. So what changed right. from then until now? And what changed is that they understand the numbers are so huge now that they see a potential constituency or actually an actual constituency. So we shouldn't listen to what they say, but how they act. And they pander to the illegal alien community because they know the numbers, in truth, are huge. So, I mean, that, that suggests overwhelmingly that they believe at some point the illegal aliens living here will be able to vote in elections. I mean, that has to be the plan or they wouldn't be pandering, correct? It, 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 it is. And it's part of a, I think it's even a Western globalized phenomenon that citizenship doesn't mean much anymore, that residency is all you need, that we blurred the, the distinction. So we have local elections in which illegal aliens vote, but if you come into the airport, or one of our viewers does, without a passport, Tucker, he's in real trouble. Or if yes. I use a fake identity or a fake Social Security number, uh, number, I'm done at the Hoover Institution. That's a felony. If I am in a community and I say federal law does not apply to me on matters of gun, hand, gun registration or EPA, and de that, that's impossible. But with sanctuary cities and open borders, we've actually given the the legal exemption to residents over citizens. And that's why there's this pushback. And I think the Democrats are, as your guest said, uh, 
they're, they're terrified that the actual number, which they know to be true, if that gets out, people are going to say, wow, we've got a huge number of people. 27% in California of permanent of current residents are not native born. That's over one in four Californians. And people say, we know what happened to California. That's what's behind this, flipping uh, red states into blue states. So it's pretty cynical when you look all around at the Mexican government that wants the 60 million, uh, billion along with the Central American governments and remittances. The employers want cheap labor. The ethnic uh, industry wants a constituency to, to uh, fuel their agendas. The Democratic Party wants uh, uh, a new uh, blue state electoral college. It's pretty cynical. And the only person that has no constituency is your average American middle class voter. Right, who's obeying the law and using his real name to pay his real taxes or suckers. Absolutely. Professor, thank he you. I mean, he, Good to see you tonight. He is. Tragic as that is. Thank you. It is. Thank you. Russian interference in the 2000.